Um, you know, I think uh, you always approach it looking at the script. You always are thinking about, you know, whose point of view is it? Um, you know, how do you draw the audience into sort of this subjective, uh, this subjective dreamlike experience? Um, you know, I think that's how I really approach it. I'm always trying to think, you know, whose scene is it? Whose story is it? Whose perspective is it? Um, and you hope that by really channeling that character's tension, that character's fears, that you'll then make the audience feel that as well. Yeah, I think for me, I'm always trying to bridge the gap between you know the audience and what we see on the page of the script. Um, and our tools are, you know, our, our actors and all the uh, kind of visual tricks that we can kind of pull to get you to feel something. You know, there's a lot of TV out there, so the beauty of this show specifically is based on the writing is how complex and, and magic realism and horror and suspense and all sorts of um, elements are like at play in these scenes. So there's a lot of material as a director that we can kind of just pull from. And especially in my episode, I got to, you know, break a few rules and help really immerse an audience um, in ways of getting us to feel what these characters are really going through in fresh new ways. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, one of the exciting bits about making the show was um, was being able to go out there in New York and try and find places in New York that hadn't been seen before, that, you know, New York's so filmed and so sort of cinematically portrayed, that to actually go out and find what would be a fairy tale New York, what are places that have that kind of haunted, interesting vibe to them. Um, and, you know, to really go and find North Brother Island that is a sort of abandoned uh, abandoned hospital on an island, you know, 200 metres off the Bronx, but is, you know, really a sort of mystical place in lots of ways. Um, and I think then also, just as a director, sort of, again, how do you film, how do you film this very real world, but just ever so slightly skew it, ever so slightly distort it, you know, just have the audience leaning in. Um, you know, not entirely sure what them, you know, what they're feeling, you know, what they're seeing. Um, that you know, to really play with memory and dreams, and you know, the haunted eldritch quality of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the script does so much work. You know, based on Victor's novel, Kelly did an amazing job at weaving the mythology and the magical onto the page. So, as directors, we're reading things that beg us to do something. Um, immersive or imaginative and as a, as a collaborator she was always there to kind of encourage and push and question um, you know how we covered that and you know Jonathan's work throughout the series and Melina's pilot you know down to choice of lenses all these things go into casting a spell for an audience and creating that mythology and making it real. I mean definitely uh, you know filming the witch uh, in Brazil where, where we actually shot was in Colombia um, but filming that by the waterfall, uh, and there really was mist, you know, mist on the lagoon, and, you know, Clark coming through that forest. Y you know, it, it's rare when you're filming that you, uh, you're able to immerse yourself fully. You know, so many things are going on behind the camera that it's sometimes uh, very difficult to just be absolutely present. Um, but that was definitely one of those moments where it, it really felt behind the camera like it did in front of it that it w really felt quite magical and that, you know, otherworldly. Yeah, and for me, I would have to say, uh, I, I love that sequence that Jonathan did. It is like a dream. I think in, in my episode, it was watching um, Adina Porter, who plays the lead in, in my episode. There's a, a scene where she remembers a picnic. It's a really simple idea. Um, but just the way we staged it, shout out to Lester, our production designer, and just watching Adina inhabit and own that, the combination of the visual setting and her performance, I was just sat at a monitor as a fan going, wow. <laughs> so it's a really special, yeah, moment for me. And I, and I would say getting to work with all the cast, you know, yeah. Lakeith and Clark and Adina and Sam, and you, you know, all of them were really, mm -hmm. you know, was just fantastic. So in that sense getting to watch a group of a group of such incredible artists completely immerse themselves mm. uh, and give themselves over to Kelly's you know Kelly's beautiful material uh, you know made the entire project a, a real joy it was such a team effort thanks for watching the you interview channel with over 3,000 original celebrity videos 
we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.